So this here is a Benjamin Marauder pistol with our tactical conversion kit installed. And this here is what the video is about. This is a Nate Crony chronograph that um, has been incorporated into a housing module that would be compatible with our modular uh, suppressor system. I'll go ahead and show you the end here is threaded. So this uh, cap for chronograph only is in there right now. I can take that off and then thread in this baffle set, thread that on there, and now you have an um, integrated suppressor with the chronograph. But um, essentially we're taking sort of two paths with this. There's one uh, module that has the uh, a threaded swivel adapter on it, and then there's another version that has a uh, clamping collet. So the threaded version will work, you know, on a half twenty, all, you know, up to a M18 by one. So that'll work for big bores as well. And then the um, the clamping collet will work on uh, barrels and shrouds that are not threaded. Uh, and that don't have any sort of obstruction like a front sight post or a uh, bottle or, or a uh, cylinder. So, uh, and all you would need to do is basically change out the collet to get all the way up to a 24 millimeter shroud. So that's pretty much where we're at on the housing. And then uh, as far as power goes, it doesn't have an integrated a battery, which I actually really like that uh, the, more, the more I mess with it. Uh, this is a an off-the-shelf anchor power supply. They're pretty cheap. It's like 20 bucks uh, for one of these, and you can use this to charge your phone or other devices. And the battery lasts a really, really long time. I mean, it's been I've been testing this thing for for weeks and haven't charged this battery yet. So it's plenty plenty more than enough uh, just for this device. But you can also take it off and charge your devices and whatnot. Uh, but anyways, I made a little M-lock adapter. Uh, to mount it to the to the air gun, but you don't need that. You can just flip this USB-C uh, mail fitting there and uh, and plug it right into the chronograph. So, uh, but yeah, I prefer to have it set up like this. But that's just another option that you have. Another option is to use a power supply like this here. This has a you know has solar panels. You can lay this out and um, and power it that way. You can also use them to charge the battery and power this thing as long as you need you just set it down and then run a long cable up to it but um, yeah I'll go ahead and get on with the test I have a eight round magazine in there and I'm gonna uh, shoot four shots without the uh, the suppressor modules or the baffle modules and then I'll install those and finish off the magazine and you'll get a readout here and it'll tell you what the uh, what the velocity is it's already connected uh, there's no app the uh, you basically you just connect to the chronograph itself through Wi-Fi and then you can set it up on your phone to where it looks like an app you open it up uh, after connecting to Wi-Fi and it goes right into it it's very low latency and it uh, it's just super reliable and it also stores the data and everything on the device itself it doesn't store your data you know it doesn't have an app uh, or a cloud or anything like that where they're mining your data so I really like that as well it's really really simple and Nate's you know super smart guy and and has all kind of software changes coming down the line to add all kind of functionality to it and uh, got some really cool stuff really cool stuff uh, coming down the line so I'll go ahead and, uh, and get on with that this cap off and install this 22 baffle set the baffle module will go up to 30 caliber but uh, I'll be coming out with larger calibers as well like I said this is overkill for a p-rod it's crazy quiet though for sure Six hundred fifteen. 
632 637 641 643 eight shots pretty sweet 